Hello there nurses! Another medical surgical nursing topic nga ang alay ko sa'yo for today because on this video, I will give you a thorough reviewer of your deep vein thrombosis. Yes, DVT nga! If you wanna know more about that, stay tuned! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Neil Gabin. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create my nursing educational content to help nursing students with their studies. If that's something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you're already a subscriber though, thank you so much for your love and support. I see you. I upload my nursing educational content two to three times in a week. Don't miss that out. Subscribe now. You hit that notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that will really help me know that you like to see more content like this. Without further ado, you ready? Let's begin! Hello there nurses! Welcome back na sa aking channel. Alam mo naman na another discussion video ang alay ko sa iyo for today. We are going to discuss about your deep vein thrombosis. This is another entry on your medical surgical lectures, nursing study guides. So, ito ay para sa inyo. I am going to discuss about the causes, the diagnostic tests, the assessment, clinical manifestations, nursing interventions, nursing uh, health teachings, all of that good stuff, all in one video. Now, in order for me to do that, I will need to switch back to my PC and I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, so hi everyone. Welcome back nga sa ating formal discussion ng iyong deep vein thrombosis nursing care management. This is another video entry natin sa medical surgical nursing and let this be your nurse study guide. Now, if you haven't watched the other medical surgical nursing lectures I created, I'll be putting it on the description box or kapag nagpop out yung icon button dito, i-click mo lang yon kasi lalabas yung mismong playlist and some other playlist that I have on my channel related to nursing. So, simulan na natin to, huh? Okay. Let's begin with our objectives for today. We're going to have the overview of your DVT, the causes, clinical manifestation, assessment and diagnostic findings, medical management, nursing assessment, and nursing interventions. Handa ka na ba? Handa na. Eto na tayo. First stop, overview. Ano nga bang yung DVT or yung deep vein thrombosis? Deep vein thrombosis is a part of a condition called venous thromboembolism. Now, deep vein thrombosis occurs when a blood clot or thrombus forms in one or more of the deep veins in the body, usually in the legs. Yes, nga po. Common nga po siya sa leg area, sa lower extremity. Now, DVT can cause leg pain or swelling but may occur without any symptoms at all. DVT is a serious condition because blood clots in the vein can break loose, travel through the bloodstream, and obstruct the lungs, blocking blood flow. Delikado ito kapag napabayaan. So what are the causes of your DVT, deep vein thrombosis? Now the exact cause of deep vein thrombosis remains unknown, but there are factors that may aggravate the condition further. Ano to? Direct trauma. Direct trauma to the vessels as with fracture or dislocation disease of the veins and chemical irritation of the veins from IV medications and solutions can damage the veins. Blood coagulability. Increased blood coagulability occurs most commonly in patients for whom anticoagulant medications have been abruptly withdrawn. Kaya yung mga nagwe-withdrawal dyan na mga nagtitik na mga blood coagulants, yung mga heparin na yan, aspirin na yan. Ako, huwag nyo agad i-withdraw yan without notifying your physician, okay? Ano pa? Oral contraceptives. Now, oral contraceptives use also lead to hypercoagulability. Ano pa? Ano pa yung mga pwedeng causes natin? Pregnancy. Normal pregnancy is accompanied by an increase in clotting factors that may not return to baseline until longer than 8 weeks postpartum, increasing the risk of thrombosis. Repetitive motions. Now, in terms of repetitive motions nga po, this may cause irritation to the vessel wall, causing inflammation and subsequent thrombosis. Once again, you guys, these are the causes of your DVT. Now, what are the clinical manifestations of your DVT? Handa ka na ba? Nakakasunod pa? O, ito na. 
A major problem associated with recognizing DVT is that the signs and symptoms are non-specific. Again, non-specific. Ano ano ba to mga signs and symptoms na to? Meron ka diyang edema. Now, with obstruction of the deep veins comes edema and swelling of the extremity because the outflow of the venous blood is inhibited. Meron ka rin dyang phlegmatia serolea dolens. Ano to? This is also called massive iliofemoral venous thrombosis. Once again, massive iliofemoral venous thrombosis. The entire extremity becomes massively swollen, tense, painful, and cool to the touch. Ito po siya o. Oh. Ito siya. At ito. Iliofemoral. Femur, malapit ito sa tay, so sa tay ito. Ano pa? Tenderness. Tenderness, which usually occurs later, is produced by inflammation of the vein wall and can be detected by gently palpating the affected extremity. And lastly, meron ka dyang pulmonary embolism, which is deadly and life-threatening. In some cases, signs and symptoms of pulmonary embolisms are the first indication of DVTC. Late sign na ito, pero ito yung masasabi mo for very first indication, right? Kasi non-specific po yung ating signs and symptoms ng DVT. But once again, you guys, these are, these four are the signs and symptoms of your DVT. Now, let's proceed. How are you going to assess and diagnose DVT? Ito po siya. Detecting early signs of venous disorders of the lower extremities may be possible through Doppler ultrasound. The tip of the Doppler transducer is positioned at a 45 to 60 degree angle over the expected location of the artery and angled slowly to identify arterial blood flow. Ano pa? Computed tomography. Computed tomography provides cross-sectional images of the soft tissue and visualizes the area of volume changes to an extremity and the compartment where changes take place. Again, diagnostic tools mo, the Doppler ultrasound and computed tomography CT scan. All right. How are you going to manage um, your DVT? In the following slide, we're going to talk about the pharmacological therapy or management. The objectives for treatment of DVT are to prevent thrombus from growing and fragmenting recurrent thromboemboli and post-thrombotic syndrome. Okay. I discussed natin to. And the vascular management. And the vascular management is necessary for DVT when anticoagulant or thrombolytic therapy is contraindicated. The danger of pulmonary embolism is extreme or venous drainage is so severely compromised that permanent damage to the extremity is likely. Ano pa? Vena cava filter. A vena cava filter, you guys, may be placed at the time of thrombectomy. This filter traps late emboli and prevents prevents pulmonary emboli. Now, in terms of your pharmacologic therapy, measures for preventing or reducing blood clotting within the vascular system are indicated in the patients with deep vein thrombosis. Unfractionated heparin. Ito nga po, magsisimulan tayo sa mga gamot. Pharma. Unfractionated heparin is administered subcutaneously to prevent development of DVT or by intermittent or continuous IV infusion for five days to prevent the extension of a thrombus and the development of new thrombi. Thrombi kasi isa lang, kaya plural, singular. Nako. Now, low molecular weight heparin, yung tinatawag nating LMWHS. Subcutaneous low molecular weight heparin that may include medications such as dalteparin, and enoxaparin are effective treatments for some cases of DVT. They prevent the extension of thrombus and development of new thrombi. Oral anticoagulants. Warfarin is a vitamin K antagonist that is indicated for extended coagulant therapy. Factor XA inhibitor. Fondaparinox selectively inhibits factor XA. A. Now, thrombolytic therapy, unlike heparin's catheter directed thrombolytic therapy, lysis dissolves thrombi in at, at least 50% of patients. Once again, these are your pharmacological therapy for DVT. 
All right. So what are the nursing assessment, you guys? Now, assessment of patients with deep vein thrombosis include the following. Ito na siya. Isaysay natin. Presenting signs and symptoms. Now, if a patient presents with signs and symptoms of DVT, carry out an assessment of general medical history and physical examination to exclude other causes. Wells Diagnostic Algorithm. Because of the unreliability of clinical features, Wells Diagnostic Algorithm has been validated whereby patients are classified as having a high intermediate or low probability of developing DVT. So what are the nursing interventions? Nurses, listen. The major nursing interventions that nurse should observe are the following. Provide comfort. Elevation of the affected extremity, graduated compression stockings, warm application and ambulation are adjuncts to the therapy that can remove or reduce discomfort. Ano pa? Meron ka rin compression therapy, graduated compression stockings, reduce the caliber of the superficial veins in the leg and increase flow in the deep veins. External compression devices and wraps are short stretch elastic wraps that are applied from the toes to the knees in a 50% spiral overlap. Intermittent pneumatic compression devices. This will increase blood velocity beyond that produced by the stockings. Ano pang pwede mong gawin? Position and exercises. When patient is on bed rest, the feet and the lower legs should be elevated periodically above the level of the heart and active and passive leg exercises should be performed to increase venous flow. Ayan na nga nurses. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and share and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational videos. Let me know if you have other nursing topics that you want me to cover for you. Put it down on the comment section below. And I highly suggest na abangan mo yung mga susunod nating slides, susunod nating discussions sa nursing. I upload ko siya sa mga susunod na araw. And I really want to grab this opportunity to thank you who's watching right now, who's listening right now for support supporting my channel and believing in me you guys have no idea how much you make me happy so ipamalita mo na nga help me out kung gusto mo pang mas makakita ng maraming video lectures help me out pinaka bago pinaka fresh at ang pinaka libre ang review center sa balat ng youtube and i'll see you again next time okay you guys have a good one thank you so much you guys for watching i hope you learned something help me grow my channel you are already here you might as well subscribe hashtag team cool talk give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends let me know what you guys think you put them down in the comment section below also, don't forget to check out the other playlist I created for you. I'll be putting the links on the description box. So simply click this icon button right here. Let's connect. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gabe. I'll see you again, baby.